Our tail of the tape for this light heavyweight tilt. All right, now for the particulars, we go inside the octagon to Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC light heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, the Gorilla. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, Johnny Walker. Ready to fight? Ready. All right, well, you can feel the energy and the buzz as we return to what has really become a destination on this UFC calendar here in Abu Dhabi at the still fairly new Eddie Hot Arena. A lot of athletes getting a chance to compete here tonight and lapping it all up in this. Well, he's got the longer reach, and he certainly showed it there in landing that straight reach. Ooh. Front kick by Walker. Yes, the single collar tie now. Another straight left. Walker gets caught by yet another straight punch. Looking to set up a knee of his own. Oh, big elbow. That knee, that knee hurt him. Oh my goodness, what a kick. Massive knee to the body leg. Great kick to the body. DC headgear's not allowed, but he has raised the hands and he's doing a nice job protecting the dome. He's doing a great job of blocking his head. A lot of times, those shots to the head will knock you out. Not this time. This guy's making sure nothing lands. How good is this action about a minute in? I think I'm gassing out just watching this thing. I'm exhausted trying to call <laughs> all the strikes that these two men are throwing at each other. What a fun fight. Yeah, I hate to be the punch counter tonight. <laughs> Oh, and he caught the kick. Got the single collar tie. Oh, Doing work with the jab there. Man, DC, his hands look good. A lot of volume, a lot of accuracy tonight. He's doing a great job being accurate, but he's also very fast. Look at the hand speed. Right, leg kick lands. There it is again. Under three minutes now to go on the round. Walker gets caught with that punch. Got to show up the defense here. Jeez, you can hear that. <laughs> All right, so now blood is a factor. You see that he has been opened up in that eye area. Yeah, he's got hit in the eye, and now there's a cut. But it's nothing to worry about too much now. But he's got to be very careful with it as we go forward. He gets to the single collar side. Look for him to keep that elbow tight and throw punches with his free hand. Well, now you see some visible damage on the side underneath the elbow. He told us he was going to invest in the body, and he hasn't missed a whole lot tonight. You didn't expect him to do it this effectively. He's done it. Oh, my goodness, that front leg kick. That front kick was nasty. Oh, my goodness, what a right hand. Two minutes now to go in round one. Well, he rocked him, but couldn't finish him. He rocked him. He hurt him bad. He could find that one shot to close the door. Could not shut the lights off. And now, pass for trying to find that shot again. Oh, man, the blood is flowing now. I know a lot of you like that, but he has got to figure some things out defensively or this fight's going to end. He's got to move his head, John. But the problem is, now he's got the blood to deal with. He's got a sharp striker in front of him. He has got a lot of things to deal with if he wants to win this fight. But right now, the focus needs to be on the head movement so you're not getting hit in that cut. All right, so a good job by him here. He continues to block these shots. Seems to see them coming a mile away. He sees them coming a mile away, and he's blocking, he's rolling, he's slipping. He's doing a great job. Big shot to the head. Nice kick. These guys are going at it. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. Nice job to block the elbow attack. And he caught the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. Oh, continuing to attack the head as that diving punch lands. Excellent grab. 
ground and pound strikes here by Walker. Serious swelling in and around that left eye. It's starting to close up now. Well, the ground and pound is there once again. Strong work here by Walker. Oh, and he escapes up to his feet. Very nice. Look at the skip action that allows you to land that big knee. Big story in this one now, the cut on the bridge of that nose from that strike, the cut man is in there, should be able to shut this one and potentially prevent it from being a factor here moving forward. All right, so there's the end of the round, and on one side, thrill on the other, agony after that knockdown. Yeah, he was able to really damage him with that big punch. You see the hands, the speed, how sharp he is, how technical he is. It allows him to land in spots where his opponent is winging punches. Great strike landed, great punch landed, put his opponent down. You ready to fight? You ready? All right, round two. So he blocks the strike there and now immediately counters with a straight. That is defense into offense, and he certainly looks like the much longer fighter. Nice job. Head kick attempt. It's blocked. All right, so that opened up a cut around his eye area. He hasn't moved his head well. Oh, is that a big move? The body will see if he can follow up. Oh, he hurt him again, bro. <laughs> Misses with the right hand. <laughs> yeah, man, crowd loving it. Just a gorgeous shot there to end the fight. Really just the way he drew it up. He found the opening and capitalized on it to the utmost extent. Nicely done to finish the fight. All right, let's get it inside of Bruce Buffer. He has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at 47 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout, the Gorilla! All right, so there he is, the man of the hour. What a massive knockout for him to get this win in style tonight. He did everything he needed to do to find the knockout. Now he can celebrate with his family and friends as they earn this spectacular.